morning everyone um welcome back to my channel <laughs> my housemates semua ada kelas hari ni on uh, friday so semua orang tak ada kat rumah i am going to make the fullest out of my friday i'm just gonna try to be as productive as i can walaupun sekarang dah i don't know what time it is already i think it's like 10 30 a.m I'm gonna do my breakfast. Tak ada apa sangat nak buat hari ni. I was gonna go to the city and show you guys what the city looks like and go grocery shopping. Tapi hari ni macam sejuk and it's like raining. So for today, I think I'm just gonna go to the nearest grocery shop. It's called Booths and it's like a um, five minute walk from here. So I'll bring you guys along. Kita up hari ni. My love, it was like 9 degrees Celsius. And if you don't know, like, kalau korang jenis yang macam sejuk, bila duduk dalam aircon kat library ke apa kan, 16 darjah Celsius tu dah kira sejuk. Kau bayangkan 9 darjah Celsius. It's like below 10. It's freaking cold. Kau orang kena tengok, kita nak masak apa hari ni. This is our fridge. Um, nak masak apa hari ni? Lau lah. Ta-da! I think I'm gonna cook nasi in tom yum. So macam boleh makan untuk lunch terus. So yeah, kat sini dia tak jual nasi 1kg, 1kg macam tu. So dia macam, I have this. It's easy cook, boil in the bag, long grain rice. Ni kau duit nasi. So, I think hari tu dah genap sebulan I stay here. Time flies so fast, surprisingly macam. I really felt like baru je betul lah. Like the airport goodbyes and everything. Nangis. Tahu tak dah sebulan ni aku duduk sini and it's like it's been a crazy experience. My tudung is also crazy but I'm we'll past that. To mentally adjust yourself to like a completely new surrounding with completely new people and everything. Dia macam it was like it was tough for the first first few weeks. I missed my family, I missed my parents. I really, really missed my bedroom for some reason. I had an emotional connection with it. I missed my boyfriend, I missed my friends. I just, the first few weeks was like terrible. It was like really bad. Nasty! So basically, um, it's time to summarize my first month in a few seconds. I have actually been sharing a lot. I've been sharing to my family, I've been sharing to my boyfriend, and I've also been sharing to my private account. I don't know, I just feel like I don't want to share everything anymore. And I really thought about it. I was like, you know what? It's not going to make a difference whether or not I share it with social media because at the end of the day, it's it's me experiencing it. Something that people don't prepare you for with the dream of studying abroad is that it's all the days in between when you're not feeling great. When you see people posting TikToks and edits, it's because we want to show you the fun side of it. If we don't make use of romanticizing our lives, then it will actually be like pretty depressing. Studying abroad has been Apart from fun, like new experiences and everything, it's been really lonely at times and people don't prepare you for that. Not saying that I don't have like people that make studying abroad feel amazing because I love my housemates. We eat dinner like together every night and kita orang masak. Masak gila banyak. Masak lanya masak gila banyak. It's a fun experience obviously, uh, tapi itulah, it's like hella lonely sometimes. Another thing, doing long distance relationship. I know like it's been done already. I have been doing long distance relationship with my boyfriend. But it's a completely different scenario now that I'm in a different country. Long distance with a time difference of 8 hours is not easy. Good news is that <laughs> my boyfriend and I have already been together for like 10 months. On to 11. So like, our anniversary is at the end of the year and I can't believe that I've been with someone and committed with someone for that long because it's crazy to think that like, time flies so fast when like, you're having fun and you're like really in love. The long distance relationship just sucks. 
sucks. It's not impossible because if two people really really want to dedicate this for each other and really do love each other then it's not as hard as people make it seem. Overall, long distance relationship is very hard but it's not impossible. So I'm very very happy. I'm so happy. Okay, so I have to cut the wong. We want to miss but we want to do it. It's night time. I just finished um, eating my dinner with my housemates and then we played a bit of cards. There's this game, it's called Donkey. I think you'll see it like in a montage, but yeah, we were playing Donkey and then I was just on the carpet, they got phone. Some of us started like um, turning on videos on our TV. It's currently 10.30 at night and uh, I didn't really do much today. I wish I could have done more. I really planned on like going to the groceries or like going out, taking a walk, just anything. But um, I ended up cooking a lot today instead, which I feel like somehow it's a lot more comforting than going out. Dah agak tengah malam lah for UK because sini pukul 4.40 macam tu sudah maghrib so by the time pukul 5 sudah gelap and 6 is already like isha so you can you can like imagine how quiet the night is sekarang dekat Malaysia pukul 6.30 pagi my boyfriend usually wakes up at like 7 7.15 sebab dia nak pergi kelas so like at around my time pukul 11 ke 11.30 macam tu nanti dia akan call aja. Hello, good morning it's like masa tu I baru nak tidur so there's like this quick interchange that we have sekejap <laughs> to like call sebelum like he starts his day and I finish mine I remember back in 2019 2020 and like the beginning of 2000 21 that era in my life i was 
like not really doing okay i was in like in and out of a relationship that like mentally broke me and like after i finished that like for a really long time i really felt like i am not capable of being loved to be able to feel the love that i feel now and to be able to feel as appreciated as i am now by my by my partner is something so raw it's something so real and sometimes like i can't help but share that and like sometimes my partner can't help but share it as well i think that obviously some people don't take it too well i don't blame people if they're annoyed of it i don't blame people if they feel like we're pushing it into people's faces my um boyfriend is what you see on social media is like only like two percent three percent of the person that he really is he really is amazing he's a supportive partner everything that you see i wish i could tell you like oh that's just fake we're doing it for social media like because if it makes people like satisfied then go ahead but like he is literally an amazing partner and for him to be able to like be patient with me and actually listen and actually understand just you know be the partner that i need it's just like oh, okay anyways that was like a really really deep moment session for no reason but yeah that was my day for today it has been a very chill day i will do more vlogs when i can but for now i will see you soon good night bye bye